Hello and welcome. In today's class, we'll look at the automorphic numbers program. We'll see how we can write a Java program to check if a given number is an automorphic number. This question appeared in ICIC Computer Applications 2010 paper. So according to the question, an automorphic number is the number which is contained in the last digits of its square. For example, 25. 25 is an automorphic number. Why? Because when you find its square, you get 625 and 25 is contained as the last two digit in its square, 625. So that's the question. Let's start writing the program. So here I've created a file automorphic.java. Let's start with the import statement. Import java.util.scanner class automorphic main method. Now inside main, we are going to create the scanner object. This will help us to receive the number from the user. So we give a message to the user, enter the number. So in num equals integer dot percent in dot next line. Once we have received the number, we need to know the number of digits contained in this number. So I can write int count equals to zero. This is where we will be counting the total number of digits present in this number. And we will run a loop to count the total number of digits. So each time we are extracting one digit from the number and counting it. So this is how we are counting the total number of digits in the given number. Once we have done that, now we can find int power as int of mat.pow 10 comma count. That means if it's a two digit number, we'll get 100 in power. If it's a three digit number, we'll get 1000 in the power and so on. If it's just one digit, we'll get 10 as the power. Later, this value will be used in extracting the last part of the number. Next, we will find the square of the number. So int square equals num into num. So this is where we have to check the last part of the number. So if the original number is same as square modulus power, so square modulus power will extract the same number of digits from the right end of the number. And that number will be checked with the original number. If both the numbers are equal, then we can say that the number is an automorphic number. So we can print num is an automorphic number. else num is not an automorphic number. And our program is complete. Let's save and check the output. Java space automorphic.java now here uh, we have an error in line number nine. Let's check what's wrong. Yeah, so we had to give count plus plus here. So let's save it again. Enter the number. So if I enter six, six is an automorphic number because when you square six, you get 36 
and 6 is contained at the end of this number 36. Similarly, uh, 5 is also an automorphic number. Uh, 25 is also an automorphic number. Uh, let's check 12. So 12 is not an automorphic number because when you find the square of 12, you get 144 and 12 is not present at the end of 144. So we are calculating the number of digits from the original number to extract that many digits from its square. So I hope you have understood how to write automorphic number program. Thank you for watching and see you soon in the next class.